Good morning and welcome. It is Wednesday the 25th of May. I am Flatcap Callum and I'm hoping you're all very, very well. Okay, coming up today, we have got half stake day, £10. It's one bet, four horses. Um, that is coming up. We'll do the review of yesterday before that. And then after that, we'll have this week's golf bet. So we're on to our usual, or we're now usual, £10 stake for the week for the golf. So that is coming up a bit later too. Okay, review of yesterday. Um, well, I mean, at points it looked terrible and horrific. And in the end, got a little bit of a saver on the last last race uh, to get a bit more back. So uh, it, it, if you can call a loss respectable, it was a respectable loss rather than a terrible loss, I think. Um so overall, I had it as 25 on and I got 21.87 back. So I had it as a loss of £3.13. But I think it will vary depending on when you put the bet on. So let's go through. Um, this was uh, a pile of junk. I, I tried to add a go here at some prices that I thought were worth going at. And, you know, those of you watching a long time the channel know sometimes I can, I can nail these and it looks like, you know, I look like a genius. And other times it looks like absolute rubbish and that's what this bet was uh rubbish so uh nothing there at all um bet two was then the punches town lucky 15 so grin ran on but didn't make quite make the places i the dragon was poor and then spagnum and lady laura and both placed so it was a place um double on that part of the lucky 15 so a little bit back there then we had the cross trebles Went down the first leg. Either oh, the dragon was poor. Uh, less aid, the better fell. Um, then Spagnan placed. Uh, Bear with me now, wasn't far away from placing. And then in the last leg, those two were, were really poor. So, yeah, nothing back on the cross trebles. And then it was the last bet that saved us a bit. Um, so we had Al Kabila and get SP'd at 11s, 20s in the morning. That price held for most of the morning. So hopefully most of you got that 20s. Then... If you put the bet on before Zao Air was a non-runner, that would have helped um, because um, on one half of the lucky 15, it was counted as a non-runner. Uh, Dark Street went up with the pace and faded. Arch Enemies, we've said, was poor. And then what could have been uh, snagged fourth place. It was 33s in the morning, SP'd at 14s. That price did go, um, but it was it held for a little bit after the video. So I'm hoping that some of you got that price um, before it went in. Um, because that made a kind of decent difference, as did the non-runner. So that actually came back as a profitable bet quite nicely, um, but clearly nothing else did. So as I said, 25 on, 28, 21.87 back, um, which means we're about eight, nine pounds down for the week going into day three. <clears throat> what have we got on day three? Um, this, this is my bet for the day. Um, it's fairly fairly solid, I would say today. Uh, there's not not great prices, uh, not huge value, but it's more solid. Um, two thirty Newton Abbott Ballygore, uh, eleven to two, and then four fifteen Beverly Zeham, ten to one, five forty five Wexford Glory for Molly, eleven to one, and the five past six at Warwick Khan A Clemain, five to one. So it's a thirty pence each way lucky 15 so just one bet and i've, I've upped it I've, on these days when i've only got one bet i either decide to go quarter or half i think it's almost decent enough to do half so 30p each way lucky 15 and then i've got an each way additional treble on legs a b and d so hopefully you can see that if i move my fingers so that's Ballygore, glory for molly and Carna clemain a 25p each way treble additional on that uh sorry i say Ballygore, Zeham, and Carn uh, Clemain. So it's the each way treble, with this bet without Glory for Molly. Sorry. And then the double, an additional double, uh, 25 each way double, on Zeham and Glory for Molly. Hopefully that is clear. So 30 each way, lucky 15. We've got an additional treble on three of them, an additional double on two of them. Zeham is involved in both of those. That is the bet. Okay. All right, then moving on to the golf. Um, this week's uh, golf singles. So those of you who like the singles, we've got five singles in the golf this week. Um, so the Charles Schwab Challenge. We've got three. We've got Ryan Palmer at 70s, Kevin Nair at 50s, and Kevin Tway a biggie there at 500s. Um, there was 
chatter about Kevin Nar earlier in the week, um, and uh, I said he, he's sort of in and around, and uh, he's just just made the snake plan. Um, then in the Dutch Open, we've got one there, Hao Tong Lee. His name sometimes is written in different ways, um, but Hao Tong Lee is there, sixty-six to one. So make sure you find the right one. And then in the senior PGA Championships, we're going Colin Montgomery. We've taken him before. We're going to have another go with Colin. Um, so I've got that as five cross 40p each way singles. They are all single bets in there for those. And then as far as lucky 15 goes, I haven't been able to do a lucky 15 for the channel because Skybet haven't priced up one of the markets that I wanted. So I'm going to put this up and there are different ways of doing this. This is the way I'm doing it for the channel, um, and I'll explain. But ideally, what I wanted to do is do this as a lucky 15 with these four. Emiliano Grillo in the rest of the world market. So he's priced up in some places. Paddy, you've got it priced up. I think Betfair got it priced up. 25 to 1, five places in the rest of the world. So if you've got the option to do other bookies... Um, and you can find a price for Emilio and Arno Grillo for the rest of the world at about 25s. I would put him in the lucky 15 and do as we would normally do a 20p each way lucky 15 um, with those four. He's not on priced up on Sky, so I've, I've kind of done it this way to highlight that, that this is how I've got to do it. Um, and from a statistical point of view, this is how I'm placing the bet and how I can track it. So we've done it as. In the Charles Schwab Challenge, Emiliano Grillo, 55p each way, single at 150s. And then I've done this as a patent bet. So that's each way, singles, doubles and trebles. So it all combines, singles, doubles, trebles. Um, so it's seven bets or 14 bets if you include it as the breakdown of the place bet. So 35p each way patent should come out as £4.90. So the Charles Schwab, we've got top English, Aaron Rye, 92 in the Dutch Open, top Spaniard Alejandro Canizares, 11 to 1. And in the Dutch Open again, top Scottish Scott Jameson, 11 to 2. That is the bet. As I said, if I could, I would do it as a lucky 15, 20p each way, lucky 15, Emiliano Grillo, top rest of the world in the Charles Schwab Challenge. That's how I would do it. So I'd recommend doing it like that, but this is how I've got to do it for the channel. All right. Hopefully that is clear. Um, tomorrow, I think the video might be late tomorrow, so just flagging. I'm 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 out in a social situation tonight, uh, and uh, yeah, so I won't be doing any research tonight. And so research will be in the morning, uh, and I think it might be a bit of a later video. So late video tomorrow, I would think probably after eleven before midday. That is what I would imagine for the video tomorrow, um, and then Friday be back to normal. Cool. Uh, that is it. That is what I've got for you. Um, yeah, I, I guess the other thing, actually the only thing I was just going to say, it just feels like um, we uh, we had a nice, well, we've been a bit up and down, but we haven't had any big wins. Likewise, uh, we keep looking like we're having big losses and then we sort of managed to avoid it slightly somehow. Um, but it generally doesn't, the last few days hasn't felt so good. Um, so profit and loss, obviously, for the channel is super, super healthy. Um and I don't, you know, I don't worry about these things. But I do. It, 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 what does play on my mind is, yeah, you, you're all, you're all human beings. You've got a choice uh, about whether you take the bets or not. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it does niggle me. I, I, yesterday, um, off channel, I, I mean, on the channel, we almost made the money back. Off the channel, I had a shocker, um, and uh, and it doesn't worry me because I know that it will, it will come good. Um, but I appreciate uh, when we do keep having uh, bad days or, or the lack of a really, really good day to remember, um, it does start to uh, just start to feel a bit like mm, mm, mm. that's that's the, the, the feeling expressed through a noise. So, yeah, I'm acknowledging that, uh, that that I think some people get a bit grumbly. You know, I've had a, I've had a little bit of uh, funny folk, we will call them, uh, popping up the last few days <laughs> and some things you'll have seen and some things you won't have seen. Um, does fascinate me just how some people get their kicks because um, it, yeah, it don't bother me. Um, so, so there you go. Um, right, I will leave it like that. I will see you in the morning, but late video tomorrow. Thanks very much. Cheerio.